Hello everyone, Toast here. I am going to my dad's house, yet once again, to uh, make another motorcycle payment. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> but um, after extensive research, I believe I found the next bike I want. I remember a couple of videos back I was talking about how I couldn't decide if I wanted a cruiser or what for my next bike. And um, I decided that I want to look at a uh, naked bike. I know that naked bikes aren't exactly some people's choice. Some people think it looks weird, but I honestly love the look of the naked bikes. I think they're beautiful. Um, you know, like the uh, the SV650, the naked one. Um, then the uh, the ER6N, which is the naked version of the Ninja Ninja 650. Um, the bike that I like fell in love with about a year ago, I think, was the uh, the Honda 919 also known as a CB900F or the Hornet 900 and um, I really wanted to get that bike but then I realized that the CC's are really high and for a young kid like me yeah, a sport bike with a high CC's like that with like a high engine it would it would kill me in my insurance uh, not to mention, one of the criteria I look at when I get a bike is gas consumption. To be honest, I don't want to go above uh, 600cc or 650cc because I think 600 is yeah, plenty enough power. And um, yeah, since the uh, the engine's not as big as leader bikes and whatnot, um, it doesn't consume as much gas. So. The Honda 919, I loved it because it looked amazing, it sounded great. It's a Honda, so I mean, it rides well. Uh, then I figured out that they had a uh, a 600cc version of that bike, which I got extremely excited about. Um, I don't know if, if it's a... Uh, well, when I first found out about it, I didn't realize that it was also sold in the US. I thought it was just a UK thing or you know one of those bikes that are sold everywhere besides the United States. Kind of one of those bikes. But um after figuring out it was called the CB600F or the Hornet 600 or the Honda 599. I realized that people do sell them here in the United States. It was kind of cool. I was doing a a search on Cycle Trader for them last night, and I'm not getting a new bike again. I'm just saying it was kind of cool that I found it. Oh, whoa. I found a uh, the last new Honda 599 in the United States, or actually in the world, and it's up in I believe Pennsylvania, and it said it was like why five hours away from me. But, um, I'm not looking to get a brand new bike, but I got excited. I found out that the bike I really like comes in a 600cc. Um, it's a naked bike. And the reason I kind of fallen towards the naked bike category is because, well, um, not, not too many people have them, but that's not the only reason. I, I have actually become really attracted to them. It's like the simplicity look of it. I just love it so much. Uh, the seating position, it's not as hunched over. It's more relaxed. 
than a uh, traditional sport bike. That's usually the case. Uh, I know like Ducati monsters, uh, those naked bikes aren't exactly relaxed position. But I mean, this one is a more relaxed position. I believe it might be more relaxed than this bike. That'd be the whole di deciding factor if I get it as my next bike or not, um, is to see how I feel on it. But I mean, the seating position is more upright than a, a standard sport bike. So it kind of feels like it's more of a cruiser-ish or standard, um, standard uh, motorcycle feel. And I heard that the seats are a little bit wider. Probably not wider than the seat I have right now, because this seat I have is kind of wide for a uh, stock sport bike. But um, what else? Uh, it's got a sport bike engine. I believe it's the Honda like F4i engine or something like that. I'm not sure if it's the F4i, but I think it came from an early. I don't know. I haven't really done much research, but. I've fallen in love with this bike, and I'm hoping that my next bike will be a naked bike. Uh, I'm trying to think. I found this one website that that explained, you know, the uh, like the positives and negatives of uh, naked bikes, and I cannot remember what they were. Um, Let's see, it was more comfortable more comfortable than a sport bike. Uh, oh, they're relatively cheaper than the traditional sport bikes. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, one of the cool things about the uh, 599, or actually naked bikes in general, is that since it doesn't have any fairings on the side and is naked, you put a set of frame sliders on. If you accidentally drop your bike or whatever, it won't be as noticeable. Because, I mean, there will be any scratch fairings. Yeah, you might break your clutch lever or something. But, I mean, I don't really plan on dropping my bike anyways, so, I mean... This is one of the pluses. I can't exactly remember what all the positives and negatives were about a sport bike, or not sport bike, sorry, a naked bike, but I'll, I'll post the uh, link up uh, showing what I'm talking about. It was uh, pretty convincing, but I really do love naked bikes. I love the looks of them, the simplicity of it, uh, the fact that they are a sport bike still, so, um, you can, you know, take them in twisties and won't have to worry about scraping pegs or anything. Uh, it's got a more relaxed fit, or more relaxed seating position so that, so that, um, you can actually, if you wanted to, tour on them, but, I don't know, it doesn't have any fairings or anything, so if you did tour on them, or travel, or use them as a uh, commuter, it, you might get a little tired from all the wind baffling and stuff, but, I mean, you can kind of build up your endurance for that. Um, I mean, basically what I use my motorcycle for is, uh, you know, commuting. Um, just, like, the overall feel, and I love the... Um, the motorcycle feel, you know, I, I don't really want to go for speed, handling is a good thing, um, just the connection between you and the bike is what I love, you know, going out and traveling, not exactly only traveling, but you know, just spontaneous adventures and stuff, something you can go and uh, ride out, have a nice little day trip across the uh, state or something, I don't know, and you wouldn't be tired from it because... It's a more relaxed seating position and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited that I figured out what type of motorcycle I, I really am looking forward to getting.